that worked. Hi guys, I'm running a bit late this morning so I'm going to try and make this quick or snappy. Uh, I'm going to use this for the rubber band powered car. I've already put a couple of crosses there and I'm going to melt some holes through for the axle. I should have enough room there to wrap the rubber band round. Uh, for the front axle I'm going to use this um, ball pen tube that I've cut the end off. I'll put that on there and wrap a rubber band around it to hold it in place. I've already got the rubber bands joined together for the motor. I'll loop them through there to hold them in place. I'm going to use these plates, plastic plates, for the wheels. Now I've used these in a previous project so they've already got holes drilled in the middle. And looking at them they're different sized holes. Yeah, might have a problem there. I need them to grip, not to run free. Okay, I'll sort that out in a minute. That's a smaller hole, and that hole's too small for that one. Right, well I'll sort that out. Uh, what should we do? I'll go and make the holes in there using my usual favourite tool. Heat this up, melt the holes through, and that should do. Okay, that looks okay. I might have to put a little bit of glue on them because they're just that little bit looser. To make the axles a tighter fit in the holes on those wheels because they were a little bit too big. I've split them with a knife and just jammed a thin piece of card in there. You can see it easier on this side because I haven't trimmed it yet. But that's splitting the bamboo apart so it's going to grip the inside of the wheel. And then for attaching the rubber band Up through that hole that's already there, through the loop, pull it tight, not a lot of space in here. tight enough. Probably should have left the wheels a little bit further apart so I could get my hands in there. There we are, we're on. Yeah, that should work. The thing with big wheels like this is it takes quite a bit of power just to start them moving. Once they're going they'll be alright. But we might need to wind it up further than we'd normally do for smaller CD wheels. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a rubber band powered car made from a I think it's nylon actually serving spoon and some plastic plates a couple of barbecue skewers or bamboo skewers at the front end I've used a ball pen tube and it's held in place with a rubber band wrapped around the tube and the handle of the spoon so that means we can adjust the steering. Now to be honest, that's a bit of a mixed blessing because every time it hits the other end it adjusts the steering itself. So I don't get very many runs 
that go the same way. Each time it hits the end it adjusts itself and you have to re-trim it. So maybe that wasn't a good idea, although it does work. Job done.